Joel from Taj Mahal Medics. I've got a Renault Megane here on a 2006 plate. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be showing you how to replace the stop lamp on this. Now, position lamp and stop lamp is exactly the same bulb. I'll show you on this one. Now, the top one here is a fog, fog light. Then you've got the reverse indicator or whichever way around it is. Then you've got a position lamp and the stop lamp on the bottom. Now, this car only has one fog lamp, which is on the driver's side rear. It's this one here. And the position and the stop lamp is the bottom one. To do it is quite a simple procedure if you come in. Now you've got that screw right there. And then you've got this one here as well in behind this cover. So what you could do is you put your fingers in, if you've got longer nails, and then take the cover off. When the cover comes out, you've got a screw there and then you've got a screw here as well. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna undo this one first. They do get usually really tight, so you can uh, put a or you can get use a nose plier or something or put a Torx bit in there which is going to be a 35 or something I don't know what size it is, what size it is but I'll show you one sec make sure you don't drop this as well right that's out so you can see there so you've got a star bit there so that's what you need you need a tool for that if it's really tight otherwise use a plier or a nose plier to undo it once you've undone that, you put that to the side. You've got this one here. We're doing both of the stop lines, but I'm only going to show you this side because the exact same procedure and the bulb is exactly the same as well. So that's out. Now all you then do is, you've got to wiggle, wiggle, and then pull it out. You've got this lug here. It goes in the back there. You can see the bottom one and the top one as well. So all you then do is, you twist that to your left, the whole thing comes out. Just remember, when you do take it out, make sure the seal is intact. If it isn't, then you'll have a problem. Now, like I said to you, indicator, reverse, and that's the position lamp and stop lamp. So if I press the brakes, now the center one's working, this one isn't. So I'm going to remove the bulb, got the new one. It's a 380 bulb. If you did want one, you can find a link for it in the description. Press the brakes again. Here we go. Let go. Thank you. Right. Uh, slot that back in. Yeah, you can find a link for it in the description. And if you find this video useful, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And there is a special thanks button as well. Don't forget to click on that. I'm just going to put this back together, but before I do that, you see this one here is a fog lamp, but it's blanked out, so there's nothing here, there's no plug for it, but there is a bulb in there. So if you wanted to replace the fog lamp on the other side, you can do that. Same thing now, slot it through, make sure it lines up, and then push in. That's it. So all we're going to now do is screw it back together. So the screw goes in there, you can see the hole. So what you do, lift it up a little bit gently, line it up, and then screw it in. That's it, and I'm gonna do this one now. Right, that's good. in brilliant and we'll put the cover back on right press the brakes for me please now you can see that there is working this one here isn't working put the position lamp on you can see that one working that one's working put the brakes on that's gone bright here this isn't that's all it was on this particular model I'm going to do the other side as well, exactly the same procedure if you did want to do it. Just follow the procedure for the one on the left and that's, that's all. Now if you found this video useful, again I'm repeating this myself. Um, and if you find it useful, please do like, share, subscribe and don't forget to click on the thanks button. Thanks for watching and goodbye.